Hey guys, my name is Kimberly. Welcome to my channel. I make lifestyle, beauty, and mommy videos. I'm also a daily vlogger, so I'm kind of like a full package. Anyways, this is my September favorites video. I didn't do a favorites video for August because honestly, I just didn't really have enough worth filming a video for. So of course, I have a ton this month. So I'm just gonna jump right into it and get started. Um, let's start with some makeup stuff. Sorry, I have like everything next to me here. So if I'm like, it's because I'm getting this stuff. Um, okay, let's start with makeup. Okay, I got the, sorry, there's a truck driving by, how annoying. <sighs> okay, I got the Maybelline Fit For Me Foundation. Um, this isn't like a new product or anything like that, but I've been using the Bare Minerals um, foundation and when I switched from that to this, like holy godsend, like this puts that foundation to shame. Like this one is so nice. It's just like so smooth and like, I don't know, it just like gives me a really full coverage. It builds up really easily and I just, I just love it. And the new Better Skin one finally came out in my area. Like it's so behind. People got it like months ago and it just came out here now and so I was gonna like buy it right away but I'm like I have like this whole thing but I'm really curious to do that one and then like do like a versus and see I'm wondering if they're gonna be really similar or like really different I'm not quite sure so stay tuned for those videos and I just got this in my birch box for um, September it's the Cynthia Rowley liquid eyeliner and it's they sent me a sample in this blue color like holy electric blue right and I was like I'm totally not gonna use that but I played around with it I'm not wearing it today but it like makes my eyes pop because I have blue eyes and it actually just like is amazing so <laughs> I am in love with it and I've been using it like I've been trying not to use it every day because it's more of an eccentric look but I've been using it a lot and in terms of liners my um a Maybelline Color Show Coal Liner in Nude has been like a daily, daily staple. I love to underline my waterline. Are you serious? Some dude is gonna mow the lawn now. Let's just hope he goes. Um, I find it makes my eyes look more open, but of course today I'm not wearing it. Today I'm actually wearing, oh my God, how Today I'm actually wearing black um, under like in my waterline but almost every single day I wear nude in there and I just been like using this one so much and I love it but I decided to do something different today but this is definitely in my favorites. Now for like body, well it's still face but this is like an eye cream it also came in my birch box for September and it's called 100% pure coffee bean caffeine eye cream this stuff smells like coffee like it actually has coffee in it like I read the ingredients and it really does and it um, smells like coffee and like I don't know it's like the texture is really really nice especially for like under eyes and I have dark circles and it really helps and I just love it love it love it love it love it mostly because of the smell a product can pretty much always win me over if it smells amazing even if it doesn't do anything but I think this one does really work because I can like feel it like have like a little bit of like tingle when I put it under but I just oh mm, I'm gonna be buying this from Birchbox for sure now I think I'll move into like body stuff um my skin has been so itchy this season since we changed to fall like just so so itchy if you watched yesterday's vlog i was installing a shower head filter to like filter out all the chlorine and stuff from the water because i'm trying to help but something else that's been really helping is the aveeno line this is the aveeno skin relief cleanses and moisturizes to soothe itchy dry skin it's a body wash um i've almost used the whole bottle and I'm finding like it's, I don't know if it's unscented, I think it, it has like a little bit of that like, you know how Aveeno just has like its own smell? It smells like that. And then also for Aveeno I've been using the Positively Radiant um, makeup cleansing remover. So it's like a facial cleanser but also removes your makeup. So usually what I do is like I use like a wipe to get my makeup off and then I'll also use this like after because it just gets a little bit more and it cleanses my skin. But I've been loving, 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 loving this. It's a good, good face. And it's a foamy one. So you just like put it in and it's foamy. And I don't know, for some reason I like really like that. And 
I, my go-to, so we're moving into perfume, my go-to perfume for the last like few weeks has been the Body Shop Vanilla Spray. Oh, it is so amazing. Oh, the smell of like vanilla for like fall just seems so fitting to me. I just, oh, I just really, really enjoy it. <laughs> now, I think I'll move into my favorite book and it is definitely Gone Girl. I um, read this in the month of September and okay when I say read like I have the book but I actually downloaded it on Audible because um, I just been finding Audible has been so helpful for me in my life like I, I miss reading books I used to read a lot and now that I have a toddler reading is just like not gonna happen so to put Audible like just put my headphones in and like take him to the park and go for a walk and be able to listen to a book I'm like getting back into books. I want to say I'm getting back into reading, but I'm not physically reading the book, but I get to like read the book in a way. So I've been wanting to read Gone Girl. I bought it and it, I'd only gotten that far. I'd been sitting and sitting on my shelf. I wanted to watch the movie and the movie had been out for ages. I wouldn't watch it without reading the book first. So finally I, I got it on Audible and I listened to the whole thing. And wow, if you like this Gillian Flynn, he is the most amazing writer. Like, he, oh my God, so much twists and turns and mystery and crime and just like, it's really, really good, okay? I just have to say it's really, really good, and the movie is really, really good. And then I found out that um, he, he had written another book called Dark Places that they also just released in a movie this August, and I didn't even know about that. So now I'm listening to Dark Places on Audible, so maybe it'll be in my next month's favorites. But um, the other book that's in my favorites is Fifty Shades of Grey. I also listened to it um, on Audible in the last month, and yeah, I know I'm way behind on the bandwagon for that one too, but like, oh my god, what a good book. What a good book. What a good book. It's so hard to like watch the movie though because there's so many things they had to leave out otherwise it just would have been in like a six hour movie, but like it's just, yeah. I'm gonna um, listen to the second book soon, but the second movie doesn't come out till like way late, like two, a year, over a year from now, so I'm like, well, I'm like, I have all these other books I want to read first, so I'm gonna take my time because I'd like to read it closer to when the movie comes out. It's fresh in my mind. And other than that, I think I'm gonna move into my favorite teas. I have a lot of favorite teas this month because as the season changed, all the season, like all the fall teas came out and oh my god, they're so good. So, okay, I'll start with, they're all from David's Tea, by the way. Like I don't really drink tea from anywhere but David's Tea. I'm like David's Tea obsessed. So, salted caramel. I don't even think I like need to explain this. It's salted caramel tea, like, oh, so good. And the other one, espresso yourself. This isn't like, neither one of these two are fall teas per se. They're just ones I started drinking recently. But this one basically has coffee beans like right in it, but it's a tea and it's really good. It's a really good like tea slash coffee. And I, I'm a coffee fanatic too, so I like that combination. And now these are fall, so the pumpkin chai tastes just like a pumpkin chai, uh, or like just like a pumpkin tea, spiced pumpkin latte, that's what exactly what it tastes like, but it's a tea, um, and I make tea lattes out of this, so good. The other one, oh my god, it's so yummy. It's a peanut butter cup tea. I, I'm like, when I smelt it, it smells so much like peanut butter cups. Like, it's crazy how accurate they get it, and the taste is really, really close, too. So, so good. Um, and then, for favorite candles, I haven't been using these the whole month, but I do love them, so I wanted to put them in. Um, I got this from Bath and Body Works. I got the Sweater Weather, and I got the Flannel. And the reason I've been really liking these two is because, like, I got all the soaps from Bath and Body Works, too, and they're all, like, pumpkin waffles, pumpkin pie, like something along those lines, marshmallow, like really like sweet um, fall scents, which I love, that's why I bought them all. But I picked up these two because they're different. They, they're they almost like masculine smelling, like a cologne, and I really like that too. <laughs> it like really smells good in the house, and I just got these little guys to kind of try them out, but I've been burning these two, and I just, oh, they're really good. And my last favorite of the month, I'm glad I'm gonna end this before it gets too long, has been my Uggs. Like, oh my god, my Uggs! <laughs> ah! I just love them. Um, I wanted a pair for so long, like so, so long, and I can never get them. They're so expensive. Like, they're too expensive. Like, I almost had a heart attack when I actually bought them. But uh, last year, I got them with my Christmas money, and basically, like, 
Ugg boots are more like fall boots than winter boots, even though they're so nice and warm for the winter, but it like rains and snows here, so they're not, like if you're gonna wear them in that weather, you're gonna destroy them. So basically, I've been wearing them every single day, like for the last two weeks, I've been wearing them every single day because it's been really sunny, but it's fall. Like it's really crisp and cold, but it's really sunny, so I know I'm not gonna ruin my boots. And I got the ones with like the little like braided bows on the back, but so I've finally been able to wear them like a ton. Last year I never barely got to wear them and then this year I've been wearing them like so much so far and I know I'm gonna get to wear them like way way more so I'm just so excited and yeah uh, that is my favorites for the month. Please give this, please give this video a thumbs up if you like to see my monthly favorites. I am planning a fall essentials video. I'm gonna do that coming quick because um, I have my monthly favorites but there's things that I just feel like every person needs to have for fall. So I'm going to make a video about that, so make sure you hit subscribe to see my future videos, and I love you guys, I'll see you in my next video, bye! And I have a bunch of work to do when I get home, so I don't really know what today's going to look like, but I love this new sweater jacket I got from Urban Planet, I don't really know how else to show it, I'll show it to you guys in a mirror later.